Welcome. Well, thank you for taking the time to watch today. I am very excited to be sitting with um, the very talented and effervescent Deneen Williams. Welcome, Deneen. Thank you. Thank you. So Deneen has uh, coordinated a, a very broad group of very talented high school students to bring to you, the viewer, uh, a production of Mamma Mia, which is an eminent favorite. So Deneen, talk to me. What is it like to work with... Okay, so first of all, let's talk about age. What are the age ranges of the cast? Uh, the cast uh, ranges from grade seven, actually, to, to grade 12. Wow. I've pulled in a few grade seven, eights. Okay. Really keen kids, and they love the stage. Okay. So. All right. So then working with, uh, obviously, a, a broad range of skill sets mm -hmm. and, and personality and presence, um, what do you find the most rewarding about guiding young people through this, this sort of a process? It's, it's fabulous. I, I've been doing this for a lot of years, and I always uh, double or triple cast the, the leads because I, I try to provide mentorship for the younger kids. Okay. So usually there's an older student, uh, grade 12, um, mentoring a younger student. Sometimes it could be two grade 12s. Okay. Some kids don't come in until later on when they see everyone else having a lot of fun. Right. And so it, it's, it's been very rewarding over the years to watch what these kids have done and go on to either continue on in community theater, which I've seen so many productions right. in town. Right, yes. And then also outside of Sault Ste. Marie, how successful they are um, around the world. Okay. So it, whether they're doing musical theater or theater, mm -hmm. it builds confidence. So they're ending up in these fabulous jobs where they can speak in front of people. Absolutely, yeah. you know, yeah. and have that presence and that ability to deliver. Um, so, okay, so now a production at Cora um, will be held in the auditorium. Now you have let me know, first of all, the dates that you're want, gonna wanna keep in mind, February 21st through the 24th, the Friday night, opening night, will be accompanied by an option of having dinner, and not just any dinner, who is supplying the food? Okay, so we get we do a pasta meatball dinner on on the Friday, mm -hmm. and um, it's from Rico's, and we also Ooh. yeah, and, and it's delicious, <laughs> delicious, and our cafeteria okay. staff comes in, extra hours they come in and just they love doing this now for us, which is fabulous, and it sells out really quickly. Okay. So yeah. now you had let now so tickets are are selling even as we speak. So individuals who are interested in attending really do need to go out and buy tickets right now. Right now, go buy your tickets um, because who doesn't love ABBA, right? I mean, Mamma Mia, of course, has come through the community before. However, um, I would be particularly excited to see, a, you know, young people mount a, a production of this level. So now, in, in the songs, in the choreography alone, you've assigned yourself a fairly daunting task. How are the students, um, how are they responding? Like, are they expressing difficulty or are they just like, nah, I got this? That's a great question. <laughs> um, we ha I have a fabulous uh, choreographer. Gabriella Clayton, and okay. she's in grade 11. And she's been on our show since grade nine, but wow. she's danced a long time. And so she's, uh, she is working so hard with the kids. Mm -hmm. And I know what you're saying, because to come out of your shell and do, to dance, it, yes. last year was Into the Woods, okay. not as much dancing. Mm -hmm. The year before Frozen, mm -hmm. still not as much dancing. This show, a lot. lot of dancing, and they're 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 wonder they're loving it. Okay, they're really getting into it. So I'm very I'm very happy about that. Because I'm just I'm just running through the various you know the various scenes um, in Mamma Mia. Now in some scenes you have a significant number of performers on the stage. So choreography at that point would be quite exceptionally complex. I would think that's those are the scenes they're doing right now. It's okay. every kid is on the stage. So how many, how many are we, like ballpark it? Um, there's, because it's double and triple cast and quadruple cast in some cases, there's be, there's about 50 kids in total, well, 60 kids in total. Okay. So they won't be that many on the stage if they're a lead role and they're not in okay. the course in that scene. Okay. But it's still a lot of, a lot of kids to move in and out and through the choreography. Now, when you're saying double, triple, quadruple casting, what does that, like, just break that down. Um, it means that there's, right now, there's 
if you look at the leads, there's two Donnas. Mm-hmm. Um, there's four Tanyas. Okay. And there's two Rosies. Okay. And then Sophie, there's four Sophies. <laughs> there's, okay. So it's basically they they all get a chance to perform, whether they perform for a night performance or a day performance. Okay. Yes. So because we do the elementary schools during the day. Which is fantastic. Yeah. And I I I moved here years ago, but this city is unbelievable with the talent here. Unbelievable. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I would agree with that for sure. Um, okay, so the production, you know, you are you are building it as we speak. Um, the tickets are on sale. Now, the proceeds, uh, you know, of ticket sales of the pasta dinner, for example, um, where does that go? Does that go back into the theater program? It all goes back because it's, as everyone knows, it's very expensive for rights, uh, sets, costumes. We're going to have to rent a few costumes because it's, it's, there's so many specific scenes that people are really going to be looking to that, see, to yeah, see, you know, that's not the area to cut. But. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot cut that exactly. So, and and we we're so fortunate because this year we usually have a robot in the show. This year, there's no chance for robotics, but we also we have our computer science teacher helping with the um, lighting. Oh wow! Okay. She's she's fabulous too. She's now this show in some of its versions has had pyrotechnics. Which we have done in shows in Phantom. We did pyrotechnics. I'm still, I'm looking at that. That's funny you said that. You, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> we'll come back to that. <laughs> yeah. That and, oh, just special effects. Special effects. That's yeah. what we're going with. Okay. Yeah. Special effects. Special effects. I did yeah. not say pyrotechnics. No, no. I said nothing of the sort. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you know, as as the production comes closer, um, I, I would be excited if you could perhaps bring some of your performers in. Mm -hmm. um, maybe they could do some singing for us. You know, I, I'm not sure what the opportunities are for dancing unless they were to get right on the table. <laughs> But, um, Deneen, I'm so thrilled that you were able to make time to come in today. Uh, I'm excited. You know, you're an exciting person to be around, and the students must really love um, to, to work with you. So thank you so much. Thank you for the opportunity.